Then, of course, I worked with Mzee Kinyata very well also. I had no problem when he appointed me as Deputy Chief of Protocol. I served under him as Deputy Chief of Protocol for three years. Uh, when uh, pre the former uh, President Moi was Vice President. So Vice President, he was the Vice President, and uh, I was, uh, and Mzee Kinyata was the President, I was the Deputy Chief of Protocol. Now, when, when uh, later on, um, President Moi became a, a president, then he appointed me as a chief of protocol also, because he knew what kind of to do. Now, when I was chief of protocol uh, during uh, Moi's time, Mwai Kibaki was a deputy president, a vice president. Mm. So I worked with the vice president also for, for all those uh, four years also. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, with, with Mwai Kibaki, yeah. So there are people whom I, I interacted with, I was lucky. I interacted with these people and uh, we, I knew them well, they knew me, mm. they knew my weaknesses, my, my strength, my, and so on. So it was easy to work with them. Okay. Yeah. What, what's, your, what's the role of a chief of protocol? Like well, it, is, uh, it used to be, uh, well, they used to call it Afisa Muku Wakupokea Wageni wa Serikali. Long name. Mm. Afisa Muku Wakupokea Wageni wa Serikali. So it was uh, somebody called Salim Salim. He was the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Tanzania. And the one time he, was, he wanted to be Secretary General of the UN, but he didn't make it. So he was used to pass through Nairobi many times. So he would ask me, Afande, I knew him. Yeah. Say, Afande, what was Swahili up on Akuita Nini? Atanita Muku, Afisa Muku, Pokia, again, was a He said, No, this should be Muku Waitifaki. Muku Waitifaki. Wambie, where is Muku Waitifaki? Uh, so itifaki now, it's not just mkuu wa kupokea wageni wa serikali only, the way it was, uh, put it here. Uh, protocol means you actually guide the government on protocol matters. Uh, for example, there was supposed to be the order of presidents of ministers. You know, all ministers, uh, if they come, if they, they visit your home or you're hosting them, you, you have people have to sit according to order of precedence, isn't it? You can't just preach there like that and so on. So that order of precedence, as a chief of protocol, you have to prepare it and hand it over to the government of the state house to issue it based on what criteria which has been established. And you make sure that is observed. Uh, the, chief, the order of precedence of the government also, among, say, the speaker, the Chief Justice, the, the Chief of Defense Forces, uh, who is senior, mm -hmm. yes, in the order of protocol. So we have to provide all that, uh, you know, uh, order also, advice. Uh, you also take care of uh, embassies here, mm -hmm. foreign embassies. Uh, all the Kenya but they used to call them, I used to tell you, are like uh, the uh, prefect, something like that, but I didn't like that. <laughs> Because you worked with them, you, you provide them with the, uh, the, the amenities and privileges they enjoy. Uh, you are the one who operates you know, your department, which authorizes their duty free uh, uh, importation. Yes. Uh, you you, you uh, also take care of their, their, their welfare and, and they make sure that they are properly protected. You work also with the police who are protecting them. Uh, so you also work on course issuing uh, credentials for conferences. Uh, there are conferences not only for ambassadors, but conferences require credentials. Uh, some of them are signed by the president and others are signed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. So it is you who prepare those credentials for them. For diplomats, you also here you prepare also for the issue of their driving licenses and so on. Uh, and then, of course, credentials. When the president come, uh, the ambassadors here present credentials. They present. You are the one who is the forehead. You you receive their copies of their credentials. Uh, you hand them over to a, to a minister, and uh, before they present the original, you brief them how the ceremony is going to be, and then you accompany them during the presentation of credentials. Uh, our own ambassadors, you prepare credentials for them also, uh, and then advise our embassies on the matter of, of protocol. You accompany the president uh, during visits abroad. Uh, you receive, uh, of course, the president who are coming here. 
uh, and the heads of uh, head of uh, government who are coming visiting here at the airport. So you're there at the airport. Yes, at the airport, and the procedures will be followed. Uh, for example, when uh, the, the plane arrives, mm -hmm. you 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 go to the, the plane mm -hmm. uh, together with the ambassador of the country where the president is coming here. Then you uniform with the president, mm -hmm. uh, the visiting president, while in the plane, mm -hmm. that uh, welcome him formally and tell him that your, your brother is uh, waiting for you at the foot of the plane, of the stairs. And then you go down quickly, you report to your president that he is there, uh, he's accompanied by his wife, and when there are conferences, some heads of state come, give lift to others. You know, for African West African presidents, uh, some of them, they give lift. Yeah, the one who has a plane, other may not have a plane. So he gives a lift to others. So uh, then you, you arrange for, uh, make sure that uh, the ceremony at the airport uh, the, it is properly done. Okay. The, 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 you know the, the anthems. Mm -hmm. I, I play the proper anthems. I played mm -hmm. uh, for the, the visitors. And if there are two, there's a procedure where how you, you have to start with this whole line up the protocol. Yes. Then the, the banquets at the said house. Uh, you organize those. You know together with the said house the seating arrangements at the at the banquet. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there was also another one, clearing, clearing of uh, military planes, mm -hmm. which most people don't know. All military planes mm -hmm. are cleared by a chief of protocol through the um, uh, defense. So they, they, they request come to the chief of protocol or the protocol. And then he now requests, informs the defense, mm -hmm. uh, people, defense uh, people mm -hmm. uh, Air Force actually, mainly Air Force, mm -hmm. uh, to clear. So it is, a, it is your job to clear. What do you mean, what do you mean clear? clear? Clear is they have to come into land here, over territory. Also, if it's, uh, say, a military plane, Uganda? Say, say a military plane coming from Uganda, okay. another country, mm. uh, wish to come here. Mm. Uh, they, they, you, you, the civilian planes, you don't get involved. Okay. But the military planes mm. is the chief of protocol who, who actually receives the request for clearance. Overflying, overflying also. And the landing, yeah, because the military plane cannot just fly overfly your territory. Yeah. They have to get clearance. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the civilian planes, of course, are different. So I could go on and on about uh, protocol. It's, it's a very involving protocol, and then making sure that people, those are on time. Mm -hmm. Time, time keeping is a very problem. You know, uh, you know of course, uh, diplomats believe in uh, timekeeping also. Mm -hmm. So if there's a function, you make sure that. Uh, uh, the people arrive on time. Uh, we went to Sudan, to, 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 well, to Japan, for example, the state visit. Mm. And uh, the ambassador of Japan here yeah, kept on telling me that uh, no head of state mm. had arrived in, uh, in Japan on time. African. Mm. African head of state had arrived in time, mm. in, uh, in, on time in Japan. Yeah. They are always late. <laughs> so, and at that time, we didn't have our own plane. president did not have his own plane. We didn't hire, we used to hire Kenya Airways plane. So I was on the, we flew from here and uh, somewhere I landed in, in, uh, in Thailand, Bangkok, you know, before we landed in, in, in Bombay or, you know, then from there we went to Mumbai, Mumbai, Mumbai rather, not Bombay, Mumbai, then went to Bangkok. And then from Bangkok, I was now literally telling the chief pilot, he was the chief pilot and uh, the cockpit said, please, Make your speed such a way that we are land on time. Yeah. So he said, "Yes, you have been telling me this since we left Nairobi." Yeah. <laughs> so it is okay. So I will go there, and then he said, "Are you is your speed okay?" Mm. He said, "Please relax." <laughs> so we landed on time. The, the Japanese were amazed. The first time. Yes, the Japanese were amazed. The first time an African head of state arrives on time. In so. Japan. In Japan, I will tell you more story about the time keeping Japan was it was very evolving. Yeah. So we make sure that time. And I, I, I believed in time keeping. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, Mzee Moi was was very good in time keeping. Mm -hmm. He was very good. Yeah, he was. You know, I had no problem with him. Okay. Yeah, I had no problem with the time keeping. And even when the pre, the, there was there was a delegation, many uh, many president coming, mm -hmm. like a, a summit, for example. And we used to have many summits here, but many. So a president will be coming, he will stay at the airport for about five hours, receiving and so on. So uh, then at that time, uh, I, I'll, I'll book and watch and know the plane is just about to arrive. 
they are sitting in a, in a pavilion where they are sitting. As soon as they see me, <laughs> they stand our father, my vicar, <laughs> to see mommy. So, and they are ready. So it was, it was good. And, and also guiding the president on protocol, where, where he should walk with the head of state is visiting. You know, there's a proper way you should walk when you are walking together. Yeah, they're keeping left and the, the guest is on your right. Uh, so, so you make sure that I tell the president, just be on my side. <laughs> Yeah, so so it, 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 protocol is a very involving uh, work, uh, you know, very very involving. Yeah, because you are, you work many hours in a day. Mm -hmm. uh, the plane may be delayed. Uh, you you work until about one o'clock, and the following day you are up again. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, but fortunately I also had a very good team where we to give responsibilities to another place. The only ones where uh, as a chief of protocol must go there. That's when I have to be there. But uh, the other ones, I used to have a very formidable team of uh, I give them assignments at all hours also. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, it is a very involving kind of work. It's very involving. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm.